you. And I love that because she put the proper moniker on her religion, Satan. They serve Satan. I do not agree that my um, position is the most popular. Uh, I think that the idea that God hates bags or many of the other slogans that you've uh, kind of displayed are actually um, in keeping with kind of popular ideology in the United States and beyond for hundreds of years. In fact, um, it's only been very recently that people who, um, you know, practice any form of alternative sexuality or identity, um, a transgender person, uh, you know, women with rights, uh, you know, it's been very recent that that has even been, uh, uh, like we have a platform in, in the United States where those people can actually come out and be uh, relatively free without persecution and uh, experience, you know, hate and vitriol. Although clearly that's not um, completely gone. <laughs> minimize, marginalize the word of God. And it's not going to work. I think you are doing it very well. You're not, you're, it's yeah, not going to work. Gonna work. Yeah. 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 There was a time when the a law came into sharp focus with these gangs. And so they made it so that if you're a member of this gang, and one of the so, gang members goes out and kills somebody. Sin, sin. So everybody sins. There's not one. No, 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 no. The gang. You have become a member of a gang. You are going to join the Crips. The Crips go and kill somebody. Every member of the Crips can be prosecuted for that murder because you have enabled this. This is what you're doing. Okay. So, but sin. Everyone sins. There's only one person that has never sinned in that scale. Your point being. If, if a uh, black lady breaks somebody, are you going to help? Since you believe in the same thing she does? Me? If she does yeah. what? If you... <laughs> if she does what though? If she did what? If she goes and rapes somebody, are you going to help? Because you believe in the same thing. Uh, okay, so if she did are you, that, are, well, you just let argue. me answer, your analysis because your correct. analysis isn't complete, because in the rapes of the priest situation, they all know what's going on, and none of them are doing anything about it. I'm very curious about whether or not you believe that your tactics are actually effective. Okay, so uh, we're not outcome oriented, we're obedience oriented. And the commission is to go into the world and preach this gospel to every creature. So, but can't you do this wait, wait a minute, I'm not done. Ezekiel 33 specifically speaks to when you hear the trumpet, the trumpet in this discussion for the Pulse nightclub was the shooter. That was an event. That was the trumpet. That's the trumpet of God against proud sin. When you hear that trumpet, it says, if you don't go and warn them, and then they die in their sins, their blood is going to be required at your hand. This is not an optional thing. If you understand what the Lord your God requires of you, do it timely, topically, then you understand that, see, but, but let me just dumb this down to a more of a humanistic, because you're a humanist. Let's say then, I have trouble with you going out with these false lying messages and hurting. You're causing so much harm and pain to people because you tell them that they can get away with proud sin and then when the thunder comes and the destruction comes and the pain, awful, grievous, that Las Vegas shooting, the tentacles go everywhere. I'm trying to provide to to create a situation where people are empowered to advocate for themselves. No, you want them. You don't mean that. You yes, don't mean do. advocate for themselves. Yes. You mean to do what they want to do without anyone getting in their way. Yes. we're not and getting in saying, anyone's way. You are we're very, very realistically getting in somebody's how, way. How? How? You are the, choosing sites of extreme tragedy. And granted, there is never up next to it. Never up next to it. 
We're far away. We use the event and speak to the event, but our location is never in sight. But it doesn't matter, even when we're three miles away, they come to us. Look, I've been the glasses man so many times, so you can feel my pain, can't you? No. I really appreciate you guys coming down to the oh, podcast. Thank you. You're very civilized, very, it was just yeah. very refreshing to hear. Oh, I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you.